So I'm just I'm just explaining because I'm just saying the way you like, well, I don't really care. Uh, I'm accepting what I've got. I'm just saying if somebody came to me and told me that in the Quran uh, these problems and these problems, these problems, yeah. really, I would address them. Yeah. But that makes more logical sense. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, think, yeah go ahead. Um, right now, I, I don't have really the, of course. the possibility to, to, to uh, correct. To that's read. fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You, that's fine. What you can say is, look, what, it, what you can say is, I can, I, I want to look in more into it. Yeah. Yes. Fine. And that then sense, maybe yeah. have a response to that. Yeah, By the way, and would you consider yourself an open-minded person? Uh, that's a that's a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that is. A, is that a no? <laughs> what do you define open an open-minded open means? Mind, like, um, would you would you to accept if if the message if if he was right? Are you ready to accept it? Um, if I'm convinced, of course. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, so if I if I asked you, or rather requested you, to read the Quran mm -hmm. with an objective open mind. Mm -hmm. Would you do it? Um, yeah, sure, why not? I don't, I'm not telling you to believe it straight yeah. away. Obviously, you have to read it, analyze it, yeah. get convinced, and then believe in it. So, if I give you a copy of the Quran, would you read it? Um, I don't know. Is that a, is that a no? It's English. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, if I, I give I, you a German copy, then you would read it? Maybe, but. Why is that? A myself is saying explicitly no. that he's How going to God. Bible? Say again? I'm talking about the two yeah. Bibles, yeah? They, they are, have some passages which are the same, but on the other hand, there are some passages that are not quite so are you expressed the same way. No, are you saying that the German Bible gives a different the message? Meaning will be the different. Yeah. Is, is Jesus the God in German Bible? Well, you could also ask yourself if the German and the Chinese Bible are the, uh, the same, but I don't think so because they are always different. Yeah, the language is different, languages. but the verses will say the same thing. Will they not? Would they convey the same message? Um, they don't change. Be the same. They change the words, but they don't change the meaning. Oh, I, I think yeah. they change the meaning. No, they won't change the meaning. Well, that's a big problem if it does. Yeah. What is it? If it changes the meaning, that is a big problem. They are, they are, they are like um, how many? At least three different words for love in Greek. Yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, like but they all say love. Yeah, but they also love. But they, they all say love. Different it doesn't things. change the meaning. No, it does. If Jesus says in the English Bible, "I go to my God and your God," yeah. the German one will say in German the same thing. "I go to my God and your God." No, you can check it. He just did. He did earlier. He he did check earlier, but somehow he seems reluctant to accept it, even though it's explicit. But he does say that. Does he say that in German? What? That uh, I go to your God and my God. Yeah, he because that. the Christian English Christians who yes. speak English, they have no problem with that. They have no. They don't say that it's different. They say this is the Hebrew. Well, we're also sorry, the Hebrew for the Hebrew text. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Is it? Yeah. By the way, is, is that your friend over there? Yes. Okay. Does he? Do you think he knows the Bible a bit more? Because uh, it would be know. it would be unfair for me to it's ask you if you didn't know if you didn't know the Bible yourself to question you on that. But if he knows a bit better, I would rather have a discussion with him as well if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the hat. Oh, he's not your friend. Okay, okay, that's fine. No, I, yeah, that's fine. No, that's all right. So all I'm saying is that look. There are explicit verses in the Bible which says that Jesus is not God. Okay? There are explicit verses where Jesus says he has a God. There are explicit verses where Jesus says he doesn't know the hour or the time when he's going to come back, the last hour. There's explicit verses where Jesus uh, where, uh, basically says that God is immortal, that he does not die. I'm assuming you believe Jesus died, yes, on the cross? Yes, but also only because he is not only God but also man. Yeah, but if he's God and man, then he died, right? Which means he's a mortal. Yeah, that's, see, that's the boundary of our thoughts. Of our thoughts of the, of no, it's not a boundary. It's it very is. clear. Because you can't he's either immortal or mortal. Yeah, Which one is he? Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can't break this boundary. Uh, I'm not breaking the boundary. I'm actually keeping it within the boundary. Yeah, the boundary that's, says that's that if anyone who dies... Yeah, just just, uh, just a few minutes. If a, God clearly says that he's immortal. Can yeah. you go against God's own... Um, explanation and uh, mention that he about his nature would you would you oppose that nature of god it's just the same thing as uh, if an uh, irresistible force hitting an unmovable object I, I didn't quite get that what was yeah, that again so uh, and if god tells you that he oh, an unstoppable force. Yeah, if, if god tells you that he's the greatest yes there's no one greater than him would you then say no there is someone greater than him if god explicitly tells you this that he is the greatest, the almighty, mm -hmm. yes? The sovereign Lord of everyone. Would you then go say, no, there's someone higher than you? Would you say that? Would you oppose God? Uh, 
I don't suppose so. Good. So if God tells you that he's immortal, would you say that he's immortal? Um, if God explicitly tells you yeah. that he is immortal, he means he does not die. Not only does he tell me that he's immortal, but also that he's capable of doing all things. Yeah? No, no, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're conflating the two things. If God tells you something that he doesn't do, yes, would you go against that? I'll, I'll come to the second bit with you, no problem. I won't ignore that. If God tells you explicitly, remember, explicitly, very clearly, that he does not die, would you say he dies? That's not how we can break it out. Why not? Because Why did you not do the same thing with when God said that he's almighty? Why did you not debate that? Because he's everything at the same time. He's, he's not everything almighty. at the same time. He's you cannot be mortal and immortal at the same time. Then you're no, no, contradicting no, no, I'm yourself. Not about mortal, immortal. But I'm talking about that. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that. So, once again, if God tells you that he's immortal, does he mean mortal? But if you're doing no, but at the same time, he's still... Uh, he's still what? He's still immortal? No, but part, when he's Jesus, he's not only God, but also human. Yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. If Jesus is human and God, yeah. then he's immortal. You need to accept that. You can't have your cake and eat it. I can. No, you can't. I, see, this is, this is good. You're, unless you're telling me you're going to discard what God tells you and go by your own logic and your own understanding and your own, uh, uh, what do you say, your own uh, understanding and your own beliefs, then that's fine. Then you're rejecting what God tells you explicitly. I'm not sure. You are. If God tells you, look, First Timothy chapter 6, 16, go home and check it. God says that he alone is immortal. There are two very clear words here. Yeah, the word alone. And Jesus are the same thing. So my friend, you, let me finish. Sorry. This is the Bible I'm discussing. When he says he alone is immortal, who lives in unapproachable light, whom no man hath seen or can see. Have people seen Jesus? Yes. So this is not talking about Jesus. The other thing God says is that he alone is immortal. <laughs> Means no one else is immortal, only him. Yes? Which is an exclusive statement telling you that no one else, not you, not me, not Jesus. Not, not anyone else is immortal, only God Almighty. Yeah, that is the Bible again. Unless you want to reject it, it's up to you. No, I don't think that's the Bible. I just I gave you the... Okay, if I'm twisting, you keep saying this. Have you, have you actually... No, no, wait, wait, wait. If you're saying you're, I'm twisting it, that means it implies you have read the verse. Which and one? you know about this verse. No, I don't know, but I don't have So why would you say I'm twisting it if you don't even know the words? You're making an allegation without even knowing what the verse says. No, that's not true. Okay, open your words and you tell me which no, part I, I twisted. Why? Because you made an allegation against me. So I want you to back up your allegation with evidence. Otherwise, don't make the allegation. If I tell you you're lying, then I need to support my evidence. Yeah, 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 yes? Okay, that's just fine. Do you normally make allegations without supporting it? No. Now why did you just do it to me? That's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. No, no, I like that. Good. So tell me which part did I twist? It says, He alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. He alone is immortal. Yeah, he's talking about himself. About whom? About Jesus? God. Is it Jesus? You can't accept. Wait, wait. Is it Jesus or no, is it I don't not? Have to answer. You can't accept. He doesn't have to it's answer. Every time it's a difficult question, you say I don't want to answer. Yeah, Every yeah. other question you no, answer, no, no, but the ones which are difficult, no, you say I don't want to answer. I'm not saying difficult. There's a verse. Reason. You can read it. It must be difficult for a reason. Why is it difficult for you to answer? Must, there must be a reason. Yeah. Here's a verse. If you think I'm twisting it. Yeah, okay. Okay? You're yeah. going to apologize for your... You're not going to apologize no. for making an alle no, because, false allegation? No, because you don't Okay, very finish. humble man. Why would you not apologize for an allegation that is false? Who said that is false? You just because you said I twisted it. Yeah, and you don't did I twist it? it? Okay, did I twist it? In my opinion, you did. Which no, part no, did I me, twist? Let me explain. What do you mean, is the verse? Was the verse the way he stated Honestly, it? Honestly, no. Was the verse the same? Was the verse the same? Which one? The one that he showed you. Was it the way he said it was? I think. I think. But the, why don't the, have the courage to say yes? No, no. I mean, uh, no. Did, you why? did you see the verse? Did you have a look at the verse? In the, uh, no. The he did. He did. He read the verse. Yeah, the one that he was. You know, Sorry. for you to make false allegations, I think you should have the courtesy to apologize. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine.
Okay, it just shows your character. Yeah. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe sorry doesn't come very easily for you. No. That's fine. Well, Learn to be humble, young man. <laughs> yeah, but, but I don't No, I don't think I want to end it on that. What I want to what I want to say is this. When you come across explicit verses, clear verses, yeah. what is the reason for rejecting it? The reason for rejecting is that I, think, um, contrary to you, accept that there are things that... Not me, no, no, this is you I'm talking about. You. I'm asking you this question. When you come across a clear verse... Yeah, I answered, so let me... Yeah, but you're saying about me. I'm not saying about me. It. Yes, I, I will give you. But make sure it's with reference to you, not to me. The question was to you, why would you reject something which is clear in the world, Bible, like God is immortal? Why would you reject it? I don't think that you can put it that way. Okay, how would you put it? You tell me. For me, it doesn't, everything has to, not everything has to make sense to me. I don't have to understand everything. I don't need to... Would you believe something you don't understand? No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, I don't need to get rid of... Um, oh man, of things that seem illogical, because I don't think that my God, I believe in, is something I can describe fully. Which we didn't ask you to? Hmm? Which we didn't ask you to? No, did did I ever ask you to describe yeah, God fully? Yeah, no, I didn't. I'm telling you, go best. I'm saying go best on the Bible. I didn't ask you to describe God fully. Never did. Never expect you to. God doesn't expect anyone to know God fully, because it's beyond our ability, yeah, beyond so, our so scope. It's okay, if I don't understand everything. Yeah, but I didn't ask you to understand everything no, about God. You asked, you asked I asked you at least. I asked you to at least understand what God tells you in the Bible. Yes. Yeah, so Not even the Quran. Me. This is the Bible. God tells you in the Bible that He is immortal. Should I believe you? Who says God can die, or should I believe the Bible where God says He doesn't die? Whom do I believe, you or God? Um, I think you should make up your own mind. Well, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did actually. I, I think, I thought if so. you were in my place, whom would you believe, God or me? Wait, that's yourself or God? No, no. If something I tell you, yeah. would you believe me, or would you believe what God tells you? Mm, I would believe what God tells me. Thank you. So you're just like me then, no different. But yep. it seems like you don't want to believe what God tells you. No, no, no. You want to believe what other people tell you. You just said it. You will go by what God believes, uh, what God tells yeah. you. You but just admitted that. I stand it and now you're going to backtrack again? No, no, no. I understand okay, so let me ask you again. Would you believe what God tells you or would you believe what humans tell you? I understand it differently what God tells me. That's all I have to say. Okay, so if That's God tells answer. you that he doesn't die, he's immortal, what do you understand by that? When God tells you that he is immortal, yeah. what do you understand by that? Because the meaning of the word immortal means someone who does not die. Yeah. What do you understand by the word immortal in the context of that verse? He alone is immortal. What do you understand by that? That he cannot die. Thank you. So your, you said your understanding is different, but it seems like even your no, understanding is the same. That. You just said, I no. understand it differently. You said, I understand it differently. No, so let me, get, let me summarize this. You would believe what God, belie what God tells you. Yes? Agreed? You would understand the meaning of immortal as someone who doesn't die. Agreed? Okay. Okay. Keeping these two in mind, do you believe God can die? Now think carefully before you answer because you always rush to. This time I want you to take your time. Think carefully to the question with regards to the question that God is immortal and God is telling you that he is immortal mm -hmm. and you understand that that means he does not die. Now the question to you is this. Can God die? Yes. There you go. End of story. <laughs> Maybe we should shake hands and just quit here because it looks like you're contradicting yourself and you don't even realize it. I'm sorry to say that. Oh, this is really insane. I'm thinking. Um, there's something I wanted to say. Um, God is a force that we can't even compare our souls to. As long as you and I are human, you and I are Christian, Muslim, um, monks, Buddhists, um, atheists, God is still God. God is a God that we can't even compare our souls to. It's a force that exists that we can't we can't even begin to describe or 
like I said, compare our souls to. And that force never dies. And that force is why we're out here believing in religion. Otherwise, interesting video. Always glad to react to such videos. If there's anything that you want me to react to, let me know by dropping a link in the comment section below. And I'll do it for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.